What is going on guys? Um, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk about something that went viral yesterday. Uh, all of Facebook was on it, all Twitter, like all the guys on Instagram. It's about this girl called Asena, Asena O'Neill. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, she is, she was a very big Instagram model like we all know, like we all follow. Beautiful girl. 500,000 uh, followers on Instagram, a lot of followers on Tumblr and YouTube, you know, social media hit, as you can say. So, um, yesterday she made a video, or like a couple days ago she made a video, yesterday went viral, uh, about her quitting social media and how social media was fake and um, she hated that she, had, she lied to her audience, to her followers about whatever how she looked, her stomach, how she was happy, um, stuff like that. So, um, I really want to talk about it because I feel bad for her and, and but at the same time, I really disagree with her. Um, she has some good points. You know, in a video, I mean, you, can, you cannot only feel bad for her because she's crying. Um, I felt bad for it because um, she's all caught up in herself. She has a lot. I think she has a lot of personal issues, um, which she tries to portray that on social media in general, which I think is wrong. Um, and I want to share with you guys why I think that. So um, I saw something on Facebook yesterday. Um, Zach James um, wrote it on Facebook. Uh, I want to read it to you guys. And um, yeah, let's just start. So he starts with, um, Senna O'Neill is wrong, social media isn't a lie. Social media can be whatever the user desires it to be. Uh, allowing yourself to become pressured into a false life that you're uncomfortable with is the result of your own action intent. So uh, that's already a good point because she talks in a video about how she wears dresses that sponsors or like brands uh, send to her and pay her to wear it on a, in a photo on her Instagram. Um, Obviously, we all know that um, if you have a big reach, you are very good for companies to get the word out, to spread whatever their product is. Um, and obviously, a 18-year-old girl selling a dress, she thinks it's a free dress. So for them, it's it's very nice promotion. It's kind of free because 400 bucks for to wear a dress um, is not that much uh, for a company. So it's it's cheap promotion. Uh, and you get some free stuff. Um, she made the decision to post that picture. She made the decision to accept that 400 bucks. She made the um, decision to do all that. If she didn't like the dress in the first place, you shouldn't have done it. Why? Because you're fake. It's selling out. It's doing stuff you're not, you don't stand behind. Um, if you want to represent a brand for one picture or maybe for five pictures, do it that you do it with a brand that you stand behind that you like that you're excited to share because I think the wrong the thing is I don't understand how you started your Instagram and in your in your video you said something about um, being 10 12 year old and looking up to those uh, YouTube celebrities or Instagram models who weren't that that much at that time but um, those famous people that look really good and have big following um, so you, I, I assume you started your Instagram page uh, because of that. You're a beautiful girl. Um, so why wouldn't you, right? So main thing is you start, um, my question is, did you start that Instagram page to feel better about yourself, to become famous, to earn money, to motivate others to do something in their life? Or I don't know. I, that's the that's the thing I don't understand because if you would have started your Instagram to help other people with whatever you struggled with or whatever or just share your experiences, um, yeah, then you shouldn't be accepting products that you don't stand behind. In my opinion, if you do it for fame, money, and that's all you care about, yeah, yeah, do you? But you see where it results in because you get caught up in yourself and uh, you became sick of your own lie. So. Um, Let's move on. Um, the inability to define yourself, your life, your own sense of confidence comes from a lack of trying to understand yourself. Like I said, I think she's caught up in her own lies. I think she's caught up in um, 
the amount of pressure. I understand because having a huge following like that um, comes with a lot of responsibility and it's it's a career, it's a job, so um, I understand it. Blaming social media calling a lie further shows your lack of attempt to reset yourself, to understand yourself. Yes, deleting the social media is a step in the right way. Uh, disowning personal responsibility for your own happiness and shifting the blame is a step backwards. So like we said, instead of blaming herself for her actions, she's blaming it on social media. She's blaming it on um, that social media isn't real life. That's something we all know. Social media isn't real life because it's on your phone, it's on your desktop computer, it's not real life. We all know that. Um, so it's kind of strange in my eyes. What he also says is um, deleting your social media is a step in the right direction. I disagree. I disagree because um, what I suggest her to do is revamp her own her whole social media presence um, instead of being that hot model that takes 100 pictures to get that one right. Why don't you show your real self, your true self, your true Asena? Asena, right? Asena. Why don't you show your true self to the world? Um, you're a beautiful girl. You're probably really smart. Why don't you show that? I want to follow. I mean, if I'm going to follow a girl like this that takes perfect pictures, I think, cool, she's hot. I'm going to follow her and, you know, have some hot girls on my timeline. Whatever, right? Um, but um, if she also has. Uh, a very nice personality, she's funny, she makes good posts, she has good ideas. I might follow her for that, you know. Um, I follow this girl called Andrea Russet. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong again. Um, but she's very funny. I like her. That's why I follow her on Twitter. She's also very cute. Simple as that. So I would say revamp your whole social media presence. Be real um, is the way to go. Don't delete it. Why would you delete it? Now you're begging for money. Um, because you saw how viral your video went, obviously your sponsor is going to drop you because you made a fool out of yourself and them. Um, so yeah, you don't have mon any money right now, it was your career, you basically fucked over yourself, which is uh, not smart, it's brave, I agree, it's brave, but it's not very smart. So um, I would have done that, she, I checked she has like 900,000 followers on Instagram now, she gained like 400,000. So. Um, even by revamping your whole social media presence and be real and be, be you will gain its best of both worlds. Social media isn't a lie if you make it the truth. If you make it a lie, it's a lie. If you, if you lie about stuff, it's a lie. That's, that's your problem. If you um, do social media, whatever, let's just read on and we'll get there. Um, I and many others have, have found a greater understanding of ourselves through our social media careers. The ability to explore unlimited opportunities to create what our hearts, hearts desire to speak with our own true voices. We found ourselves through social media because we made that choice to do so. And that's what I wanted to talk about. So, she made a choice by accepting that dress. She made a choice to promote that dress for $400 even though she didn't like it. Even though she didn't stand behind it or the brand, or whatever. You decide to take money for a dress, that's your choice. You decide to spend hours taking the right photo, that's your choice. You decide to live a life that you feel is a lie, that is absolutely your choice. Deciding to use social media as a tool to tell people social media is a lie contradicts that very same notion, which is true. Um, social media is there to be used for the truth or for the lies. Um, a say now, Neil needs to find real help instead of redirecting personal responsibility towards mankind's greatest communication tool. I truly hope you do because social media is a lie. You were the lie. Um, I mean, I can uh, only agree 100% on this uh, just because, like I said, she was the one, she was the one lying to her followers. She was the one um, pretending to have a life she didn't. Uh, and that's the main thing. I think if you do social media the right way, um, you're portraying your life exactly how it is. Exactly how it is. And I, she, did, she didn't do that. So if you want to talk Instagram, she talked about how she took like a hundred different pictures for one photo to make her stomach look good. Um, yeah, obviously it's fake. 
uh, we know uh, we know the existence of Photoshop. I mean, we just want to see hot girls. It's as simple as that. So saying uh, social media is a lie is, is not true. I have to agree with this because you were the lie. You, she was the one um, making up everything. She was the one. Okay, and now see, I see on Facebook that she uploaded another video uh, and she wants people to donate money to her. Okay, so first you're gonna completely blame everything on social media, but now you need the reach to get money, that same social media. How does that make sense? It makes sense to me that you need money because like I said, everyone dropped you. You don't have any income. It was a dumb mistake. It was a dumb choice for you. So this is my general opinion on social media, okay? There are a lot of YouTubers, there are a lot of Instagram models, there are a lot of Instagram male models. Interesting people in general have a lot of followers, okay? I know, personally, I know a lot of people that are super popular, over a million followers on, on Instagram. Um, they're super real. They're them. They portray themselves 100% real on social media. Um, I think that's the long way, the long run um, to success on social media. It's being real. Uh, that's the only way. Being fake is just short term. Like, like you said, it's going to make you a couple thousand bucks, maybe some million if you're lucky. Um, but yeah, you're going to get sick of yourself, sick of the lies. And that's what happened. She burst, the bubble burst. She um, got upset. She felt very unhappy. That's j just because she was faking it. She was caught up in her own lie and she ruined it for herself. And now she's asking for money. I mean, that's kind of the icing on the cake for me. Um, I feel bad for her because um, she could have done it differently. In my opinion, like I said, she could have easily revamped her whole her whole branding, her whole social media, um, if she would have posted a picture with uh, a little pimple and say, hey, this is the real me, uh, I'm sorry for photoshopping every single picture, um, this is the real me from now on, uh, love me or hate me, whatever. She would have been popular too. People love that. People love seeing genuine people. People love seeing a girl like you, who's pretty and who's successful, and they want to relate to it because, hey, I have a pimple, but she's perfect and she doesn't have pimples. God damn, I want to be like her. That's exactly how you did it. Okay, so if you want to help young girls um, on Instagram by posting perfect pictures who aren't real, you're not helping them. You're making them feel bad about themselves. And that's your point. Okay? So instead of, you have incredible reach, you understand that, right? You have incredible reach, you can, you can help so many little girls in the world. You can, so many. If you would have posted a picture with a pimple and said, hey, I got pimples too, I'm not perfect. Damn, people would relate to you so much easier, okay? So um, that's about it for me, my opinion on this situation. Uh, I think it's bad she's asking for money. I think she could have done a better job. Um, I mean, quitting social media is like prisoning yourself in this world. I mean, nothing uh, goes without mobile uh, social media. It is what it is. People are, things are evolving in the world. Um, it is what it is. You, next time you want to, don't use a cell phone anymore. I mean, come on. It's, it's not going to work. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I hope to um, like leave a comment what you think. And um, I'll see you guys' opinions in the comment section down below. All right, guys. See you guys later. Peace.